Happy New Year, everybody. I am so excited. It's 2022, and with the new year, I wanted to give you guys some new year perspective and a little bit of motivation as you make it through 2022. So we've just kind of dipped into the new year, and um, I know for some people, a lot have already has already happened, right? There are some people who've gotten engaged, and some people have had breakups, um, some people have gotten acceptances, some people have gotten denials. And with that being said, I wanted to talk to specifically my pre-PA students, um, really just anybody, I guess you could say, that uh, is trying to pursue something uh, that they feel called to, but they just, they're just having a little bit of doubt or um, fear or uh, just any type of feeling of uncertainty as this new year has come. Because sometimes New Year's brings that, right? When you're not where you, you feel you should be or where you want to be, um, there's a, a sense of uncertainty that comes out. But I want to just kind of share something with you guys as I've been talking to some of my pre-PA students. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Zadana and I make PA related videos. So some of you all have been on this journey with me for the past four years, which is crazy. Um, and in those four years, you've seen me make it into PA school, come through PA school, graduate from PA school, pass my, well, fail my boards, pass my boards, um, and then get a job like essentially right out of PA school as a trauma PA. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now in my life. I'm living my life as a trauma PA, okay? Um, and and I, you know, felt like, okay, I could just waltz right into this, I guess, career, you could say, um, this application process and just make it in and it would be a smooth and, smooth and easy transition. But that's not always the case. And that didn't happen to me and it doesn't happen to everyone. And so for those of you who are sitting here and, you know, your PA journey, your journey to PA school has not quite been exactly what you wanted it to be. You know, you are taking the scenic route. Um, you know, you're getting more classes, you're getting more um, more hours, uh, just more experience in general to get you to the point where you can apply to PA school, this is really for you. Okay, so I had a conversation with one of, I wouldn't really call her my mentee, but there's like a couple people that I spoke to uh, and they kind of came with the same thing. You know, there was a, a young lady that I was talking to and she, I was like, hey, you know, like, well, so what's going on? Where are you at in your PA, you know, journey and she's like don't be mad at me um i i decided to go uh, the np route and go into nursing school and i was like why would i be mad at you congratulations i'm super happy for you you know because the pa career and this path to pa school is not for everybody and I just want to say that again, it's not for everyone, okay? And so although I would love everyone to come and join this amazing career that I call, you know, my home right now, uh, it's not necessarily for everyone and that's okay, all right? And so don't let anyone like dictate what you do in your life in terms of like the decisions that you're making because you're feeling like you want to let you're going to let somebody down or you're feeling like an embarrassment or whatever the case may be or that you're giving up that's not the case right and then on the flip side another student came to me and she said the same thing she didn't say don't be mad she was just like well you know right now i'm in a nursing program and um my desire is still to go to pa school but i wanted to get some experience as a nurse and um you know kind of bolster my experience there uh, as well as boost my gpa through all of my nursing credits and then apply to pa school and i was like that's a great option you know because it is okay to take the scenic route to PA school. Um, we all take different paths to different things. There's different paths to my mom's house and I like to take a certain path and my husband likes to take another path. And I'm always like, why do you take this route? Like it's so much longer. Um, and he's like, no, I think it's quicker. But who's right? We still get there. We still get to my mom's house and you will still get to PA school. Um, ultimately, it may just take a little bit longer or you know, somebody, it might take a little less time but you're gonna get to the same destination and that's ultimately what this is all about, okay? Becoming a PA, if that is your desire. If it's no longer your desire, that is okay as well. And so this, this video is essentially about not allowing others' opinions, other people's thoughts on what you should do with your life 
dictate that, okay? Now, obviously, there are some people in your life who you may need to speak to or talk to or go through discussions with, like myself. I had to talk to my husband about the various different things that I wanted to do, um, the money that I wanted to spend to go to PA school, um, to, uh, to take classes to get into PA school, uh, the, the year slash years that I would be essentially like bolstering my application to apply to PA school and we had to be on one accord. So there are obviously your partners in, in your life that you'll have to talk to. But ultimately, I'm talking about all this outside noise, you know, where you sit up here and you allow the fear of what people think or will think should they know that, hey, you know, you're not, you're not your traditional pre-PA student. Um, you know, you've been denied from PA school two cycles or three cycles or four cycles um, and you still want to be a PA, but now you're going to be a respiratory therapist first um, before going to PA school or a nurse before going to PA school. And all of these other professions are not less than, okay? And I just want to make that clear as well. Like being a nurse is not less than being a PA, okay? The, the, especially if you wanna now continue on and go to NP school and do essentially a lot of the same things that we as PAs do, okay? So I don't want you to sit up here and think like, oh, I'm giving up, you know, I am settling, I'm taking the easy route, I wanna do this because um, it's gonna be easier to get into nursing school and NP school than it is to PA school, like that, they'll all those thoughts need to be like completely out of your head because that is not what this is about. This is about you doing what is best for you, you taking the path that is best to you, you making decisions that are best for your life um, to get you to the point where you want to be. And if that is PA school, yay, welcome. You know, welcome to the family. If it's not PA school, congratulations on the career path that you have chosen. I wish you much success, right? And ultimately, I think that is kind of the attitude that we need to have and you need to have, especially going into this new year. Don't allow fear to dictate what you do in your life because fear doesn't own you, right? You're like there's no room in your story, as the song says, for fear. Um, don't allow it to tell you what you can and can't do. Instead, uh, you make the decisions on, on and, and make the plans for what will best fit your life and your lifestyle and where you want to go, okay? So just a little bit of motivation for you. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, new videos every Sunday and Tuesday. So uh, last week Tuesday I did not do a school because I had to I picked up a shift to help out my job so I will be doing a school this Tuesday um, I'll announce which school it is tomorrow for you guys and then um, I'm going to put out another bit of my vlog I, this will be the last one essentially of my Dubai trip because um, I, I had a great time at Expo 2020 and so if you don't know what Expo 2020 is um, stay tuned for my newest vlog next week Sunday where I'll be talking about Expo 2020 and some of the places that I visited there in Dubai. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Vonic PA and on Instagram at Get That C University where I help you while well, we help you not only get into but through PA school. Um, we do a lot of consultation sessions so um, go ahead and sign up for one there. Uh, I think that's it. Happy New Year's you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I will talk to you guys next time.